AI web scraping just became super easy. Browserite is a platform that allows you to scrape any website at the lowest cost possible without using any code. And you can get started with it through the link down below in the description completely for free. Every day you log in, you get 500 credits. And this is just an amazing deal. So let me show you what you can do with browser app because there are so many things that are possible with this application, making AI web scraping easier than ever. So after you create an account and log in, you are going to see the screen. At first you might be overwhelmed, but don't be scared. It's super easy to navigate this and there are so many capabilities in here. The first thing that I want us to check is agents and here you can create your own agent by clicking create. This agent will be your scraping agent and you can give it a name and a description. In this case I have already created an Amazon scraper which I want to show to you. So here I specify the instructions for the agent. I tell it that he is an Amazon scraper and I want it to scrape the cheapest deals for iPhone 16. On the right hand side you can see the tools available to the agent from browse control using Chromium browser, the region of USA and the type of residential address. You don't really need to change them if you are in another region, in another country you can just change the country here and you can see the list of available countries over here. Also if you need to sign in on a website for the scraper to be used you can also specify your credentials. There are also other tools that allow general search searching social media, finance data, and also news. I'm just going to keep them as default, and we can also specify the intelligence model. This is the LLM that's going to be used by the AI agent. You can specify a fast model that eats up less credits per step, or you can use the typical intelligence model. Also, you can specify the execution style, from creative agents to more precise agents. I'm just going to leave the default options for demonstration purposes. So after you have specified what you want the agent to do, its instructions and tools, and also the LM model used, you just go and hit publish and you click publish new version. So after that, you go to options. You can instantly run the agent, so click right now. So by specifying the agent, then you've got a chat interface. So I'm going to ask the agent to do a very specific thing. Scrape the cheapest price for iPhone 16. I'm sending the request to the agent and the agent instantly starts acting, starts taking actions to solve my request. We can see the agent live using the browser, which is super amazing. It's so beautiful to see. And in any case, you can take over the control of the browser. If in any case you see the agent getting stuck, you probably won't really need that. So we see the agent running live on our interface. In the past, guys, creating AI web scrapers needed extreme knowledge of bypassing website securities. You had to set up AI models, tools, and also proxy IPs, which is all so costly and complicated if you are not a master of coding. But right now, everything happens inside Browser Act super easily for us. And we can see the agent actually being able to do our request, it's searching for the cheapest price of iPhone 16. The agent now navigates across all of the results provided by Amazon to find us the cheapest offer. And we have the result of the agent. The agent gives us the product link and we can just copy and paste it on our browser to check out the result. So because I live in a different country, I'm not able to see the offer, but this is like the cheapest offer across all of Amazon. So you can see how easy it is to define your own scraping agent and how easy it is to use it just through natural language. But Browser Act doesn't stop there. You can create your own AI scraping workflow by going to the AI Workflows tab, click Create, name your workflow like Amazon Automation, click Create, and this will open up a visual interface where you can create your own scraping workflow by yourself, which gives you even more power and flexibility compared to using just natural language. This is intended for people that want faster, more accurate, but also cheaper results at scale. We can see that the node here is start and we can specify the input parameters. So again, we are going to say Amazon, click OK. We can also specify logging details for our workflow. We can specify the browser and then we can add new nodes by clicking the plus sign. The first one would be to visit a page. So we want it to visit a page inside Amazon. So in this case, we want it to go and visit Amazon. Then we can add another node below it. 
So after visiting Amazon, we want to click on an element, which would be search. And we could potentially add like inputting text on a specific page, like for example, input iPhone 16. And we can add a lot of other things like scrolling the page, clicking pagination, just doing a wait or a loop or just extract data and give us the output data. You can do so many things with this and you can use this workflow by clicking publish, publish as a new version and you can go ahead and run it over here. You can use it by changing the inputs and getting it to start. But this is not the only thing here. There is a template marketplace where there are templates of scrapers created by Browser Act. And there are so many opportunities and so many ready-made templates for you to use in an instant. This is our pre-built templates, which you can customize by selecting one of them. And you don't have to create them manually because they're pre-created, pre-tested, and it saves you so much time for very specific tasks. You can extract videos from a YouTube channel. You can scrape sorts. You can also parse eBay or X, or if you're interested in crypto, coin market cap data. In this case, I'm just going to go into Google Scholar Research Scraper which allows us to scrape papers and scientific literature from scholar.google.com. We can specify the amount of data we want to scrape, the keywords and the publication years. I'm just going to scrape just 10 papers from machine learning and I just hit start. Or if I want to change this template, I can go create from template and this workflow gets into our own workflows so we can customize it and change it as we want. You can see the exact workflow, how it works, what steps it does, and you can change whatever you need. Click publish and then run and use it. So let's go ahead and use it. We click publish, click run now, and we go here, we remove the healthcare as we did before, 10 data limit and click start. So it's that simple to get pre-made workflows that are tested and useful, save loads of time scraping whatever you can think of using browser app with such a little cost. Guys, AI web scraping really has become a commodity with browser app. And we can see again, as previously, the agent working live on the web browser. It has never been easier to scrape the web and we didn't write a single line of code. Everything we did was with a drag and drop environment that pretty much anyone that knows how to use a computer can do. But there is also something even more powerful. There is a new API for Browser Act so you can use it with Make, NA10 or whatever other application you want. This is super powerful because your agents are now available in automation tools that pretty much anyone uses. There are two API solutions, the Workflow API and the Agent API which allow us to access everything we have created inside the automation tools or just through whatever application we create. So I'm going to jump into NA10 and create a workflow that will use our Amazon scraper. And I will show you how to integrate Browser Act in your own NA10 automations. So I'm going to open up Agent API and this is all you need to integrate your own AI agents inside NA10. There is a very, very detailed documentation and Let's set it up right now live. First of all, the link for this automation will be on the link down below in the description. You can just click on the second link which says Gumroad, put your email and you get this automation completely for free. Only thing you have to do is go to the three dots up here and import from file after you download the file. So first we are going to add a trigger node and then we're going to add an HTTP request. So in order to set up the first HTTP request, we go back to the documentation and the first node we want to create is the run task node. We copy this, which is a C URL. We click import, we paste here the command and everything is getting set up for us pretty, pretty easily, as you can obviously see. So the first thing that we want to get is our API key. In order to do that, it's very, very simple. We go back to integrations and API, click API keys, create new API key, and we want to get this key. Copy this, click confirm. We go to our workflow and paste. Make sure that you have a small space between bearer and your API key. That's very, very important, guys. So we place our API key so the HTTP request can log in into our account and see the agent. Then we want to define the agent ID. It's very simple to do. You go to your agents and the ID is this one up here. Copy it, paste it here, and here you go, the task. So the task again is iPhone 16 for the cheapest price. 
so it's that simple to connect browser app with NA10. There are also other input fields that you could use. For example, you could define secrets like login and password and a lot of other things. In our case, we don't really need them, so we're just going to continue with this specification. So we're going to click execute step and we can see that the output was successfully run and we got an ID for our task. Then I'm going to add a wait flag for about five seconds. Maybe you could increase that. It's all up to the difficulty of the task you're creating. So now that I think of it, I think it's more like five minutes to be completely transparent. You click execute the step and then you want to specify another node, which is an HTTP node again. You've got a lot of options like pausing a task, stopping a task or resuming a task. In our case, I'm just going to get the task result. So again, we copy the CURL here. I'm placing it through import CURL, import. Here, we want to place again our API key. Pretty, pretty simple. We go into our previous request, copy our API key, paste it here. As we can see through the API, we need to specify the task ID, which is going to come from this HTTP request node that we have specified already, N810. Again, all of this will be set up for you. It's going to be on the second link down below in the description that says Gumroad. Of course, in order to use any of these, you need to create an account on Browser Act, guys. As well, this is an insane AI web scraper. It literally, it bridges the gap between huge companies that scrape the web 24 seven and normal people that want to scrape the web for small scale tasks. It's never been easier to access high quality web scraper. In the past, I tried to create my own web scrapers and I completely failed, guys. And I have over 10 years of experience coding. So you can understand how difficult of a task it is to do at scale and perform at very high quality. Of course, you can try out Browser Act through the link down below in the description completely for free using the free trial. By joining in daily, you can get 500 credits. But of course, if you're interested in doing more requests or pushing this scraping inside your company and scaling it up, you can get your own license here where 1000 credits is about $1. And one thing that's going to be happening very, very soon is that Browser Act will have its own nodes inside N810 Make and other automation tools. So it's going to become even more easier to add browser act scraping inside your automations. So by looking at the result, we can very easily find the link associated with our query. We can right click, open it up in a new tab. And here we see the very cheap iPhone 16, $600. Obviously we can see that the response is correct.